Hi, this is Ian Smith from Syncrotech Solutions, and today we're going to be doing a import of Dynamics 365 contacts. We're going to be using Kingsway Soft's SSIS uh, components, including the company lookup or the advanced lookup. So that includes a company name match and a first name match. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, start showing you what we got here in terms of the demo data. So these are the existing accounts and uh, what I want to show is that the source data that we're going to use might have different account names. So I'm going to, let me see if I can drag this over to the side here and show you the data that we're going to be importing. So I have five existing accounts and I'm going to leave those five accounts. Uh, I have 25 contacts on my import list and you can see that I've changed the names on the import list of the accounts to have different variations of Inc and company and brothers and sons and LLCs and PLLCs and LLPs and I put a couple of blank spaces in the front of this one. Uh, there's dashes, some have dashes, some don't have dashes, commas, some have commas, some don't have commas. Uh, okay, I can't find the one that has the dashes. Okay, so there's one that has a dash, there's one that has a space. Okay, uh, the other thing is if we go look at the contacts, uh, there's two contacts that I'm going to keep here. I'm going to delete 23 out of these 25 contacts. I'm just going to keep Keebler and Harris. So here you see I have Henry Keebler in the existing contacts and I'm going to try and import somebody that says Hank Keebler. So that's going to be using the first name match lookup <coughs> or the advanced lookup with first name match. And the same thing here with Harris. So I'm going to have uh, an existing Bob Harris, and I'm going to try and import a Rob Harris. So obviously I don't want to create a duplicate if it's the same person, Bob and Rob, for the same company. Um, we, want to, we want to do an update on that record as opposed to an insert. So let me go ahead and do the deletes here. I'm going to delete all of them except for Keebler and Harris. Okay, so if I go now to the SSIS job, I'm just going to show you how this is set up. So the key thing is this premium lookup. So this comes from the Kingsway Soft SSIS component. Um, and this first one is going to look up on company name. There's two most important inputs are the primary input, which is our data source. And our data source is that file that I just showed you in an Excel spreadsheet. So that's a preview of the data. And here we see, for example, Rob Harris and uh, Hank Keebler. So again, they're matching up, hopefully, with Henry and Bob, Hank and Rob. And obviously, the company name we want to match. Uh, so the company name, you can see, has all the different variations of Inc., Corp., LLC, and Company, and Sons, Corp., Company, commas, no commas, dashes, no dashes, uh, spaces in front. Okay, so that's our data source. We want to associate our contacts with the parent accounts. And we don't want to create duplicate contacts, and we don't want to create orphan contacts. So our premium lookup is has the second input here which is the lookup and this is going to be just a real simple fetch XML I have this one actually simplified even more um, let me just show you this one so the only fields we really need for the contact lookup are the first name last name and contact ID for the account 
lookup. We really just need the company name, which is the name of the account, the account name, and the account ID. I did filter here just to say I really only want to look for active accounts, but really that's the only things you need in the fetch XML. Okay, so if if uh, so, let me show you what the premium lookup looks like for company name match. Super simple. Oops. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna just take the input field, which is the account name, the primary input field. All right, this is actually the lookup table. So we're gonna go to the lookup table and match the name up with the input, primary input company name, and we're gonna do a company name match on it. And this is that kind of fuzzy logic. There's company name match is a specific type of fuzzy name. Company name match is a specific type of fuzzy logic. Um, so it's basically stripping out all those inks and corpse and spaces. So these are some comparison settings here. And we just click these checkboxes to ignore white space, ignore punctuation, ignore case, trim leading and trailing white space. And this is just a kind of a, a slider to say, I want to take my time and get the best match possible versus doing it quicker. And that's pretty much it for the setup of the lookup. Um, I got my matched rows, which means if I find a company based on the company name match, I'm going to go down this way, which means now I have the most important thing in not creating orphan contacts is to identify the parent account of the, the contact record. Then I also, I don't want to create duplicates. So number one, I don't want to create orphans. Number two, I don't want to create duplicates. So in this case, I'm looking to see if the contact name exists. I could have matched on email address. In this case, I'm matching on first name, last name. So I just do a first name, last name. This is a special type of fuzzy logic called first name match and this last name. I did a fuzzy match just because in case there was a space uh, or, or something like that. Sometimes if there's a hyphenated last name um, or if there's a space before the last name or space after the last name. So I did a, a little bit of a fuzzy match there just to show you how that, that's possible. And again, super simple. I already showed you what the contact fetch XML looks like. We come down the road uh, and we, now if we have a company name match and a first name, last name match, we're gonna say that we have a, a match on that contact and we wanna do just a contact update. In which case we really don't wanna update anything. So I click this checkbox that says ignore unchanged fields. So I do a lookup just to kind of verify that the contact exists. And I'm looking up on contact ID, which I was able to gather from the lookup table. So the lookup went out on first name, last name, and pulled back the contact ID. So the same thing for the account, actually. So we grab the parent account from the lookup using company name match, and we brought back the account ID. I'm going to use that to say if the contact ID matches and the parent customer ID matches. If I do a parent customer ID match in the component here, I need to also say what entity type it is, uh, account as opposed to contact, and I got that from a derived column. That's what this derived column is here. It just says object type code of account for a parent customer. So my contacts have accounts as their parent account or parent customer ID type, object type code. Okay, so this is just logging if my contact update is successful, if my contact update is error. And this is doing, uh, if we didn't find the first name, last name, we want to do uh, a contact insert. So that's it. Um, I'm going to actually run this. And hopefully we'll get 23 new contacts and two updated contacts.
Okay, we can see it's running. You can see it's running. All right, there's 25 rows input. It did five rows looking up to the accounts. We got 25 matches on the accounts, which is awesome. I got two matches on the contact lookup. Again, awesome. And I'm going to do update two records successfully. I'm going to up, insert 23 records successfully. So perfect. All right, so perfect. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. for the accompanying blog article. So if you have any questions on this, there's going to be a blog article associated with it. So let's go and look at our results. I just hit refresh here. And I have 25 contacts. And I didn't want to change any of the existing data. So that's typical for like if you have an existing contact you make the assumption that it's been worked by some salespeople and if they decided that the guy's name was more appropriately Henry then you don't want to overwrite it with a Hank from some external system so that's why we did not overwrite the name. We just said update successfully. We know it already exists. It's already an existing contact with the same parent customer. And you can see the parent companies, even though in the source account had all different uh, variations of the company name, we were able, we were smart enough using the company name match to be able to pull back just the company name that we had already existing in our CRM system. So that's the end of this blog article post, uh, video demo. Um, we have some other uh, associated SSIS, uh, data cleansing, data quality type jobs as other video demos and blog articles. So please check out our site, syncrotech.com, S-Y-N-C-R-A-T-E-C, -E and uh, post any feedback on the, on the blog, and uh, we'll uh, see you again soon.